Alrighty, welcome back. Welcome to part two, our series about the 2021 International Residential Code, study about safety glazing in hazardous locations. This time in video two, we're going to talk about R30842, which talks about what? Safety glazing adjacent to doors. To me, this is the old standby. We've had this in the code book for years, but of course, it's not like it used to be. So, thus the video. So, adjacent to doors. It talks about, yes, if you've got glass, but basically adjacent to doors. It says what? Where this glass is what? Where the bottom exposed edge of the glazing, so not the frame, but the edge of the glazing, is less than 60 inches above the floor walking surface. So, five feet. So, if you're five feet or below with these windows, you're probably, this is going to be for you. And it meets what? Either of the following conditions. So it's kind of a little list. So we got to meet some, some things here. So here's item number one, little list. So glazing Jason door, and this is what it says. Where the glazing is within 24 inches of either side of a door in the plane of a door in a closed position. This is the way it's been almost forever. And everybody watching, you, you're probably familiar with this. So yes. If I come in here and I measure two feet, within two feet, measuring from the door to the glass itself, if it's within two feet, this has to be safety glazing. Same thing over here. This is the plane of the door in a closed position. So if that happens, yes, safety glass on both sides of the door. Life was so simple back then. But now we, there's a few more. So that's item one. Let's go to item two. Is where you've got to put your thinking cap on a little bit. Now the glazing is on a wall less than 180 degrees from the plane of the door in a closed position, straight line. Then, then, this is very important, within 24 inches of the hinge side of an in-swinging door. So you would think, just looking at it, both of these, if I'm in here in, inside the house, I measure, and these are less than 24 inches here or here, you would think both would be safety glass. Guess what? This one, here's the hinge side of an in-swinging door. Let's say this is less than 24 inches to the glazing. This one has to be safety glass, according to this wording. Likewise, this one does not have to be safety glass. Even if this is, let's say, 12 inches, it's not on the same plane of the door in a closed position. It's not on the hinge side of the in-swinging door, so it does not need to be safety glass. I don't know why. I don't really know the difference, to be honest, between this and the straight line rule. I didn't write the code, but this is the way it is. So straight line, both of them are safety glass. Anything under 180 degrees, look for the hinge side. And when you find that, measure if it's less than 20 foot. That's the one. Because the other side, eh, doesn't need it. So here's another example of that same rule. I made it a little greater. It, that other one was about 150 degrees. Well, this one's 90 degrees. And so as you would guess, yes, this one, if you were, this is what I think is happening. If you are calling the kids in for dinner, you go to the front door to call them in for dinner. Maybe you don't have any windows on it. And at the same time, the kids are coming, they're racing because they know it's dinner and they barge through the door and you're standing right here and you get hit by the door and you go through that window the code writers want this to be safety glass for that reason. But also, this one would not be safety glass because it's not the hinge side of an in-swinging door. Could you get hit by a door here and go through? Maybe, but according to the words, that's that. Again, of course, there's always exceptions. There's got to be some exceptions. So we say, hey, it says decorative glazing. I covered decorative glazing in the first video on this thing. So look at that one. But then it's got a new one. Where what? Where there is an intervening wall or permanent barrier between the door and the glazing. So I throw in a door somewhere or a wall. Well, here's a wall now. So the door is swinging in and it would hit this wall. It doesn't say how long that wall is. Maybe it's this big. Maybe it's this big. I don't know. It just says a wall or other permanent barrier. So there you go. But then it says what? So if this happens, obviously, no, this does not have to be safety glass because the door can't hit that and it would not you know, shove you through the glass window. So it wouldn't affect you. 
But on the other hand, again, we're on the same plane within 24 inches. This one would be safety glass. So go from there. All righty. Few more exceptions. Let's talk about this one. Where number three, access through a door is to a closet or storage area three feet or less in depth. So if I have a window next to a closet, but the closet is less than three feet in depth, then that one doesn't have to be safety glass. Now, it does continue on glazing in this application, shall comply with 30843. We will cover 0.43 in our next video, so look for that. But the idea here, if this closet was a walk-in closet, let's say, and I don't know, the door's closed and you're coming, maybe it's early in the morning, you're coming out the closet while your spouse is coming into the closet, they hit and you can go through that window, that's it. So they're saying, they, 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 they drew the line, said, hey, three feet. If this closet is less than three feet, you don't have to worry about it because we don't think people are going to be in that closet pushing the door open. But a walk-in closet, that's a different story. So look for that in your walk-in closets. Then finally, number four. This one kind of comes up a lot. We got a lot of patio doors and stuff that could be sliding doors. Or, but it says glazing that is adjacent to the fixed panel of patio doors. If we look at this, here's a typical setup where this is the door itself with a fixed panel next to it. You would say, okay, well, well what is happening here? Well, very simple. This is the door, so within 24 inches of the door, that would be a yes. That would have safety glass. But over here, here's our fixed panel. This one over here would be no. That does not have to be safety glass. Now, when you have new windows going in, make sure your guys know which one gets the tempered glass and which one doesn't. Um, I, I've seen where they mix them up. So obviously, yes, the door and the panel next to it, that's safety glass because that's for the rules we talked about in the other video. But that's just one of the exceptions for safety glass at patio doors. That's really it. Section R3084.2 about adjacent to doors. Next time we'll talk about point three in our next video. We'll see you then on Homes Built Right. So long, everybody.